Pretty. <laughs> right, let's go. Okay, congratulations, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> um, it wasn't all your own way, obviously. Did you, they put up more of a fight than you expected? Was it a tougher game than you expected? I think we always knew that South Africa, uh, South Africa were going to be a really tough match. Um, all credit to them, they came out um, all guns blazing and I thought they put up a good performance but uh, thankfully Great Britain managed to pull it out of the bag in uh, extra time. Well, what gave you that extra? I, th I think obviously we made some changes at half time and the play new players on the court just spurred each other to get on with the game and we knew when, once we pulled ahead we just had to keep going and once we got a two goal lead we, we really pushed on and I think the grit and determination from all the girls really pushed us on to the end. Now your experience showed um, much more in the in extra time. Uh, do you think it was your experience and the lack of experience that gave you the edge? Um, I think it was pure determination and uh, we said from the start, from the very first quarter that we were going to take it one quarter at a time. And when it did come to extra time, we just knew that we had to stay composed and controlled, and that if we were going to take the um, game, if we were going to take the game, that we had to do everything there and then. And uh, the girls just were truly determined and um, put out a great performance. Just your overall impression of the South African team. Pardon, sorry. Your impression of the South African team. Um, I think we know some of them are national players, so we never underestimated them at all. We knew they were going to come out, like Nat said, all guns blazing, but we were prepared to put up the fight, and luckily we did, and just pulled it out at the end. But yeah, all credit to them as well. They really gave it to us right until extra time as well, but we managed to just press on at the end. And how was the mood in your, in your dressing room after the game? <laughs> well... <laughs> we were unfortunate because we actually weren't there because we had to go drugs testing, both of us. So. We were there for the celebration. Yeah, so we, we, yeah. I, I was going to say it was piss poor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, obviously we're all absolutely elated. Um, so since we got here, this has been what we've dreamed of and to come out on top. Have and we find time yet? How does we find time yet? No, but because obviously it's live it's on not sunken, is it? the internet. <laughs> our, um, yeah, our folks back at home were all watching it and we, they've sent lots of messages, so everyone's just elated. Um, did you also feel that uh, um, nerves affected your side at all? Your defence, I thought, was outstanding, especially in extra time. In extra but time. both sides were making a lot of errors. In yeah. There. Obviously, a game like that, um, goal for goal, it obviously shows that both teams have to stay composed for the majority of the match. Uh, we, were both, we both said that during the game and all our girls agreed that we were making some basic errors and that we knew that when it came to extra time there wasn't any room for any more errors. Okay. And just the impression of the tournament in general? Just um, yeah, obviously just having netball in this event is amazing and something that's probably been trying to happen for a few years and so to get it in this event is great and just to come out winners of the very first one I think will make history. I think it should happen more often now. <laughs> and then more teams can come in and uh, can become yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, because obviously like, the calibre of players will attract more teams to come in future years and make the standard even better. And any team out there that um, is con like, contemplating coming, I'd say just come. Like, it's an amazing opportunity. And have you made friends out here with the others mingled socially? Yeah, yeah so definitely. Because contact. Yeah, because we're all staying at the same hotel, so we see each other all the time, and we've even said we'll swap, we'll swap some shirts afterwards, yeah. <laughs> just so you can remember everyone. But yeah, all so there's a big really brass on yours now. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and have you managed to see any of Cape Town? Anything of Cape Town? We went on a tour bus, didn't yeah, we? Yeah. We, sat we went on a tour bus. Top yeah, deck. went up. To, well, we didn't go actually up Cable, um, Table Mountain, but. We went up on the bus ride and mm. saw a bit. And we've been to the waterfront, that was yeah. beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah, but it was very cold. Cold. <laughs> like England. <laughs> yeah. yeah, what do you mean? Yeah. We're used to it. Warm You're in this summer. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Grab those uh, flowers and let's do a little picture and a uh, message to your friends back home. Warm, yeah. Come close together. <laughs> um, right. We just want to say on behalf of myself and Nat, thank you so much for all your support. All your uh, support has been amazing and all your um, feeds through Twitter and Facebook and everything. It's really appreciated and you were really our eighth player on that court knowing that we were doing everyone proud back home. So thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, cheers. <laughs>